getting ready for 20 laps here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. I had to relocate because I was filming the Texas race and the drivers would go to pit. And then they would just keep pitting and pitting and pitting. And then by the time you know it, you got two cars on the lead lap. Various cars one lap down. Various two laps three, four, five. And it's not even like fair that way because the game's screwing it up. So if something's wrong with pit road on my Texas FSC tracks. I'm going to down re-download the tracks tomorrow. And if that issue isn't resolved, then I'm just going to have to download some other Texas track. Or... Just use the old Texas tracks, because those tracks work perfectly fine. Anyway, we're entering today with 10 drivers in con contention for the championship here. Tom Gerard, Jordan Newman, 27, 26 back, respectfully. Philip Trigali, 20 back. Sean Harpel, 17 back. Benjamin Ramoso, 15 back. Frank Hopkins, 9 back. Micah Kennedy, 7 back. Logan New York, 5 back. Peggy Bowling, 4 back. Chris Washer enters as the points leader. Chris Washer will start second. Now, this is a super speedway. We got 20 laps of racing and we have pit stops. Micah Kidney starts fourth. Peggy Bowling fifth. Tom Gerard sixth. Uh, Frank Hopkins 15th. Logan New York 16th. <sighs> Sean Harpel 21st. Jordan Newman 23rd. Benjamin Mimosa 24th. And Philip Chagall 25th. Last career races. Michael Rogers starts 19th. Janice Reese. Starting ninth, Henrietta Fitzwater got her full-time ride confirmed. She will stay in the 31 for next season. She starts seventh. Also, Mimosa's already guaranteed a full-time ride next year, so we'll see what happens. So, doing this for this and for Cup, so... Kind of stinks. I kind of wanted to finish the season at a speedway and not have it be decided at a super speedway like it has the past two seasons. But... Another year I have to wait to have it end at Auto Club. Well, yeah, that's right. It ended at Auto Club last year. It wasn't a super speedway. Anyway, get you to the green flag racing in a minute. Go green for 20 laps of racing on this 2.6 mile super speedway. Very interesting track. Very well done effects. Mystical did a great job on this track. And the, pit, the victory lane is especially interesting as the green flag is out on the way for 20 laps at Armory. Digital Super Speedway. As Kate Harala will take the front, we will be watching drivers. Any chase driver leads a lap, we will mark him as leading the lap so we can keep record of that. Right now, Chris Foster falling back, Peggy Bowling moving up to the front. Remember, this is a guaranteed full ride, full season ride in Cup to be full time instead of part time next year. And also, if you haven't already solidified your ride, it's also a pick-wherever-you-want-to-drive ride scenario. But it looks like Kate Harala, a non-chaser, is going to lead lap one, or non-chaser, I mean non-contender. And Janice Reese with a big head of steam coming up to the front. I did take the plates off. This track is another... Was designed as a plate track. I took the plates off. I don't like plate racing. As they're going almost four wide here. As now Cody Evans is looking for the lead. And Philip Tringali has lost the pack. That is not good for him, but he will most likely catch back up anyway when pit stops commence. Four wide up back here. Frank Hopkins was getting in a pinch with fellow contender Micah Kidney. As Cameron Hopple looking to the front. As Philip Tringali is pretty much just trying to hang on right now. Eric Corrala here running in somewhere like third right now. Has been confirmed he, can, he will be in the four next season. Sean Hopple has not received any offers, so it does appear that he most likely will have to um, sign up for a new team. 
I don't know if Tommy Baldwin Racing wants him to come back to drive the 7 or the 36. If he can win the championship, it might be a better chance for him. As Chris Washer has now fallen way back into 18th place. And even though it's a super speedway, you don't really want to be in the back when you take pit stops. Sarah Carolla to the front. Here comes Sheila Sullivan, though. And these drivers are passing a lot more. Sheila Sullivan was ninth at the line last time. She's going to be second this time as Janice Rees just stole the lap from her. That's a photo finish waiting to happen. And Eric Carl just got on the wall. But he saved it. As Janice Rees is in the lead. And now we have a slight pack separation. And Chris Washer is one of those drivers that's going to get slightly held up. Here comes Tom Gerard. He needs a win, and he needs Chris Washer to do terrible. Tom Gerard or Peggy Bowling is going to lead this lap. And it's going to be Tom Gerard. So Tom Gerard leads one lap. And I'm not going to count who leads the most laps because that is just too crazy to count up. Peggy Bowling's at the front. Sean Hopple up here. Chris Carando trying to go to the bottom three wide. Peggy Bowling holding on for now. Philip Tringali back to being losing the pack. As Chris Carando's looking for his first win of the part-timer schedule. Oh, Peggy Bowling, I think, just let a lap. Yes, she did. They're saying Peggy Bowling let a lap. And that is not what Chris Washer needed to see. Chris Washer has finally made his way back to the bottom. Frank Hopkins now moving up to the front. On lap seven here. Of 20. Peggy Bowling now kind of holding on to the lead. And I see pit stops happening. Peggy Bowling coming down pit road. I see Frank Hopkins, Micah Kidney, Chris Washer. Logan York pit too. So here we go. First pit stops of the day. There will be two pit stops. Kyle Thomas out front now. Carried out Dowdle, who's also retiring. Just realized it's finally not her thing. Just haven't had any success. We had luck 13. But when Tom Gerard elected to stay out, everybody else went down pit road. Well, I did a test on this track. Anybody that stayed out after a main group pit, ended up running out of fuel. So I'm going to keep a close eye on Tom Gerard here. As he's passing Zachary Fitzwater. And he's actually doing a pretty good job. And he's going to come into pit here. So Tom Gerard, Gerard let a lap. Peggy Bowling leading her group. Check out that camera. Kyle Thomas carried out all racing. Here comes Peggy Bowling. Look at Frank Hopkins. Look in the past, Chris Carano is going to get held up by these two coming onto the track. Now he's going to try to get by on the high side. Logan York is going to catch up to this bunch. But right now, Peggy Bowling remains the race leader. And that is 47 points for her. I'm not going to post the final standings because 
I'm not doing whether somebody led the most laps, as this case it could be the 43. So I'm not doing that. So it's 47 if you win. And right now, Peggy Bowling is definitely the championship leader. As Tom Gerard came out of pit row finally. So right now, Peggy Bowling on the shot to win. Where is Chris Washer? He is in 12th, which I believe is actually 11th. Yes, he is in 11th. So Peggy Bowling currently has the championship by... Let's see, 43, 11, I think it's like 7 points. And here comes Frank Hopkins. Frank Hopkins, who was 9 back entering today, has got a big head of steam coming up to the front. He wants to make full time for his 17 team next season. Logan York has also found his way up to the front. We'll see what happens. Frank Hopkins is looking to make the pass for the lead. And now a lap lead would help a lot. A lap lead really only matters if you don't win the race. Frank Hopkins leads a lap. Frank Hopkins leads a lap, putting him originally eight behind entering today. And right now, as he takes the lead, he is the championship leader by about three points. Well, that's if Peggy Bowling wasn't up here with him. I think Peggy Bowling is leading it barely as she is getting the outside run to Hey guys, just remembered I forgot to start a new clip. So, just so you know, here we go, blah, 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 and we're live. So yeah, I forgot to start a new clip, but now we're back to live action as Frank Hopkins leads another lap barely yet again. And the 17 and the 43 are really going for it. Logan York is going to try to join this party. Frank Hopkins will finally take the lead. They are nearing their final pit stops of the day. Trey Phelps in his final start in the 21 has done a pretty good job after Riley Houston Jr. got in a big accident, big accident and left the car. As Logan York, who enters today five back, looking to lead a lap. And he will. Now Logan York, so three of the top five and Peggy Bowling's in the wall Peggy Bowling just got in the wall at a bad time Peggy Bowling just got in the wall at a very very bad time Chris Washer is up to ninth Chris Washer is trying to do what he can to win this championship Frank Hopkins is coming down pit row. Peggy Bowling. Chris Washer. Here's the money stop. Micah Kidney coming down as well. Henrietta Fitzwater. This is the money stop for Chris Washer, Peggy Bowling, and Frank Hopkins. Bowling might have lost it on hitting the wall, but she still has a shot, possibly. Logan York in the lead. As these drivers are all coming down. Oh, and wait, we got some drivers staying out. Cindy Vieira was staying out. But Logan York came down. Cindy Vieira, Sheila Sullivan, Janice Reese, and Cameron Harple. 
along with Tom Gerard, all stayed out. These are all non-championship contenders. But what happened up here? Chris Carando lost the spot to Henrietta Fitzwater. Frank Hopkins is in front of Peggy Bowling right now. As all these drivers will come to pit road, including Tom Gerard, will give up the race lead here. Looks like Angel Navarro had stayed out. Logan York coming out of pit road. Did Logan York get enough? Frank Hopkins coming out of the pits. Here we go. Here's the big here's the big show. Frank Hopkins seems to be a lot farther behind Logan York. Here comes Frank Hopkins. Peggy bowling right on his bumper. Logan York in the lead with three laps to go. Who will the B, who will get the full-time ride? Cindy Vieira coming off pit road. Cindy Vieira might have the race lead by staying out. Kerry Dowdle in the lead. Here comes Kyle Thomas. Frank Hopkins makes it back to the front. Cindy Vieira might not win this race, I don't think. Freight train, who's going? Which way? Frank Hopkins going on the bottom three wide. Chris Carano gets held up. Frank Hopkins gets held up. Kyle Thomas goes by for the lead. Two laps to go. Frank Hopkins has Logan York right on his bumper. He can't win with him right there. Peggy Bowling is right here, too. Chris Washer's in 14th. Chris Washer still has a shot to win this championship. Frank Hopkins going to the bottom three wide for second. Frank Hopkins trying to get the last ditch effort. Coming in a white flag. Can Kyle Thomas hold on? White flag in the air. One lap to go at Armory. Frank Hopkins trying to find the run. He's up to third. Coming in a white flag. I mean the checkered flag. Kyle Thomas, Cindy Vieira have pulled away. Checkered flag waves. Kyle Thomas is going to win it at Armory. Frank Hopkins will finish third. Logan York fourth. Peggy Bowling in seventh. Chris Washer finishes in 13th place. And let's see here. I'm going to pause the live action. Once we see the results are official. There you go. The results are official. Kyle Thomas won. Now Frank Hopkins got third. That puts him 10 points ahead of Chris Washer. Plus the bonus point is 11. So he would finish two points ahead of Chris Washer. Peggy Bowling finished seventh. Six, point, six pots ahead. Plus the bonus point is seven. She would finish three points ahead of Chris Washer. And Frank Hopkins, I said he would finish two points. So right now, Peggy Bowling has the one point lead. Now, what about Logan York? Logan York finished fourth. Nine ahead, plus the bonus point. It has been decided. The part-timers champion. Is Logan York with a five-point lead over Chris Washer, two points over Peggy Bowling, and three over Frank Hopkins. Logan York, you are the champion. You 
will be full time in season four. I hope you watch this race. If you do not, and you do attend the signups, I will let you pick any of the open cars. Blah 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 blah. You know, you get the picture. It's not my fault if somebody gets mad because you didn't respond to me. So, if they want to be mad at somebody, they can be mad at you because you didn't respond to me. But, you know, I'm sure you'll respond. I'm sure you're good about that. But, I don't know, my personal messages haven't been going to people lately. So, God knows what's happening. Hope you enjoyed today's race. Congratulations to Logan York. We will see you for the cup race. Kyle Thomas, Cindy Vieira, and Frank Hopkins will be the three drivers running that event. Until next time, peace.